Hey, you want to see something brand spanking new that hasn't been around for over 30 years? Come here. Nice shoes, right? Check it out. The brand new East to West Tandera 27 BHOK. 33 feet, 2 inches, 8,800 pounds dry, can sleep 10, maybe more. But they got something in here, in this half-ton, mid-profile fifth wheel that hasn't been around for almost 30 years as brand spanking new. Ryan, take a pan. What do you see? You notice anything? I'll give you a hint. It's where the light comes in. They have done square windows with no valances. And check out how they did the shades. Why is this cool? You'll be able to see it better when we're outside because it's on the other side. But there is reflective foil on the other side of these shades. What is that going to help you do? It's going to help you keep this coach a little bit cooler. I mean, sure, you already got a high output 15K BTU AC inside of this one that's ducted and you're wired for a second one in the master with the thermostat already there. But this to me, not only is going to give you a little bit more function, I think the privacy actually is a little bit better too. Uh, and with it being here in the slide rail uh, and the magnet clasp, uh, they're not going to be knocking around the coach. They're also going to not wear so much when it comes to that suspension wire on the side that after a few times of use, you had to wrap the wire to get these shades a little bit tighter. Add that to the fact, and I'm going to get out the way so Ryan can show you this. Add that to the fact that now there's no valances. Look how clean the line is here. Look how awesome that is. My friend Trish would absolutely love this because it's clean lines, maximizing the space with nice hard edges. Still get the mushroom lights, still get good head clearance here in the slide, and we got the U-shaped dinette down here with some storage underneath. This does reduce down into a sleeper, and when you come over here to the floor, you're gonna notice that the linoleum matches with the rest of the upgraded linoleum that's in the flooring no carpet is in your slide. So when you have the pets, the kids, all that stuff that gets in there and the carpet gets all dingy, you're not gonna have that. And it's flush floor, so not stubbing your toe getting to the fridge. Which, by the way, is an Everchill 12 volt fridge that we have here. Multi-flow, 10.7 cubic foot fridge freezer combo with the travel lock on there. And you even got the little storage thing underneath. Wow, that's a lot deeper than I thought it was gonna be. Full extension on the ball bearing guides, solid wood construction. I mean, it's east to west Tandera, which means camp here. They've been making coaches for almost three years and really did a good job uh, when they came in the market of giving you something different that's affordable but still luxury packed. They're not racing to the bottom like a lot of manufacturers are doing this year. So half ton, fifth wheel. We're going to get to the kitchen here in a minute, but check me out. Hi there. We got the same windows here, but look at what they did. As opposed to putting the frame on the outside of the wood, they put a wood paneling there. What does that do? A, it just looks cleaner. B, you're not knocking it in the middle of the night and you still have the window there. And underneath here is storage that's on the outside. I'll show you when we get there. Double mushroom lights in my double over double rear bunks that we have nestled here with mirrored ward drawers and even a drawer in my step my kids would love this because it is a private separated bunk room and then there's another one of the square windows here on the campsite with my ac ducted here and my mushroom lights come around to the campsite kitchen and what we have here is a press surface countertop you're going to see large windows on both sides this one's being a little bit larger but they open up and the square windows also give you more open airflow and light. Why? Because the edges aren't closed in. Very good thought, my friends, at east to west. I mean, just absolutely awesome. Oversized TV, got a 50-incher up top on the swivel arm, and we got our connections back there. Uh, you are pre-wired for the wine guard boosting in this, 
And I got to tell you, if you're going off the grid, I absolutely would get that. Uh, Jensen, AM, FM command center here, USB, HDMI, it is Bluetooth mode, plus you got dual zone. And underneath there, more solid wood cabinetry, hideaway hinges, like that. Really like that. And you're going to see right here from the sticker, no ducting in the floor work. Why is that important? Well, when you're talking about a large coach, uh, even if the flooring is one piece, if you have ductwork underneath, that means that the frame and the insulation that's in the frame has to be cut. And now there's an open space with the duct. A, that duct can crunch and restrict airflow. B, you can get soft spots inside that duct. Not having that, having it in the cabinetry does not restrict the airflow. Plus it gets you the air a little bit quicker. And you already have a high output furnace on this. Got the flush mounted three burner Greystone cooktop with the 16 inch oven. Got my GE microwave PF, pretty fancy. No, I actually pulled a, uh, pulled a, pulled a breaker by accident and, uh, we're here at the plant. So I got the door locked. So the guys don't yell at me. Strut supported storage up top because since it is a little bit higher, you don't have to worry about trying to hold it awkwardly to get anything that, you, you're, that you're using up here because they want to maximize the space for you as far as your storage goes. Add that to the fact that we also have the crown molding and more space. Come on, baby. Look at it. And then come around here to my L-shaped kitchen along the back wall. I like this because usually the kitchen is just over here uh, and you kind of lose a little bit of prep. You got tons of prep, tons of entertainment, and then undermounted stainless steel sink, high-rise faucet with the residential spring-assisted sprayer. Uh, come back here. Come back here. I'm kidding. I just like doing that. And if you need more space to do some prep, that's another thing I think East to West uh, is, is really good at. They give you additional features that you can put away when you don't need them. This is obviously obstructing the door to the rear bunk room. But if nobody's back there, but everybody's in here and you're entertaining, maybe you're tailgating at the game, maybe it's the, the kids travel ball tournament, whatever, and you need all this room for snacks, for prep work, look at the space and the flow that you have here, but you're not obstructing anybody that might be in the U-shaped dinette or even over here in my easy out sofa. These are awesome because it's easy out just comes right out you get a flat sleeping surface and then just goes right back in crown molding on my storage part here shelf smoked glass here on the inlays of my cabinets there right there is my air controls here's another nice feature that i like they put in this year you got a dimmer for the lights. So if you want to set the mood or if you just want to make it a little bit brighter, make it a little bit darker, you absolutely can. Over here is going to be your command panel. Run out your slide, run out your awning, as well as check your battery, cut on the lights, cut on your tank heaters, which you do have tank heaters. We'll talk about the sizes of those out there. You do have really good capacities, including 64 gallons on your fresh, as well as your batteries. And you get a 200 watt solar system with a 30 amp controller built into this. I've noticed for 2024 that uh, people have taken solar off of the coaches, um, which I understand, but Tendera did not. And they're not racing to the bottom, but you're still getting tremendous price point on this. Free floating steps with great shoe storage underneath, as well as safety lights. Then we come into the bathroom. Get back! You know what this is? It's a toilet paper holder. And you know what's awesome about it? It's got a magnet clad. So during transit, you can just put it right there. But when you're in here, you can set it wherever you want to set it. And on top of that, when it's time for dinner, y'all come on in, the vittles is done. Boom, got me a vent and fan there, press surface with undermounted sink. I also have the mirrored double medicine cabinet here, 60,000 BTUs on my tankless water heater and shower surround with skylight and upgraded shower handle there. I really like that, it's beautiful. Got the matte black, the glass enclosure. Um, Oh, okay. And this is actually nice. 
So the LED tube light, which gives you a little bit more light, uh, actually a lot more light. That's actually, it's actually kind of nice. Was it was it reflecting off the back of my bald spot? Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't help it. It's, if you've ever played golf, it's like a sand trap up there. All right, pre-wired for a second AC, king size bed in the slide with good grief, USB ports abound over here. You got 110 above the lip there. USB-C and USB-A. And then over here on the side, you got little side panels, uh, little, you know, little shelf space with 110 USB. And you also got uh, some ward storage as well as shelf storage. TV backer up there. I just like these square windows, man. I like them, I like them a lot. And to, to give you some more ward space, how about motion sensing light? Look at that, Rob, look at that and chest of drawers underneath. Absolutely, absolutely maximizing the space. But, and you still have storage underneath your king size bed. So let that, I don't wanna lift that up because I'm gonna hit Ryan. <laughs> and it's his birthday today. <laughs> Do you know that? I would sing happy birthday. As a matter of fact, leave me some comments down below. I wish Ryan a happy birthday. It's your birthday, big fella. We're proud of you. <laughs> All right. Absolutely beautiful, the all new East to West Tandera 27 BH. Okay, let's go outside and let me show you that storage that's under the bunk. You're gonna love this. I'll, I'll meet you out there in a minute. I'm gonna take a nap. So here we are on the outside of the all new 2024 East to West Tandera. This is the 27 BHOK, brand spanking new half ton mid pro floor plan. Absolutely love this. Look at the automotive coated front cap. This is what I like about what East to West does with the Tandera. They gave you the same front cap. So you still get that aggressive profile, automotive coating, LED flood right over your Rhino box hitch pin. And this beauty's 33 feet, two inches, 8,800 pounds, can sleep 10, maybe even more. And take a look at my LED running lights. The reason I wanted to point these out is a lot of times in fifth wheels, you get the strip. With these, you almost get those like tube lights. I really like it because it's brighter. More importantly, it's going to last a little bit longer. Underneath is where you're gonna see your prepped storage box, or as I like to call it, the gen box. Now in here, you'll see you got your battery compartment as well as your 30 amp solar controller and a spot for, you know, well, storage, generator, you know, pretty much whatever you want to put in there, you know, put it in there. Beautiful graphics updated for 2024. Right there, and Ryan, I don't know, maybe zoom in or whatever, that is the back of my square windows. Look at the almost white appearance of those shades that are in there. That's the reflective foil I was talking about that's on the back of these. You got twin 30 pound LP tanks, one on each side. You're gonna see the metal latch magnetic class slam doors in here. And how about external shower on both sides and you even get a LED light strip on the inside, not just a puck light. Cable connection, GFCI outlet. Enclosed and heated underbelly. Get your four point ground control 3.0 leveling system on this one. Solid step over steps. And I like how they gave me the safety rail. This is different than the door guard hand rail that you usually see because it comes down so much further. So if you need a little additional assistance getting up and down, that's there for you. Goodyear endurance tires on, get this, 5,100 pound axles, 14 inch aluminum rims, and underneath you're gonna see the CRE 3000 suspension. What's great about that is A, a little bit higher running on those tires, but more importantly, a smoother tow as you're going down the road love the square windows come over underneath the extra large awning with the led light strip and just past it is where you're going to find the griddle and grill combination station now what's cool about this is you just take the screws off here and underneath this beautiful they say powder coated uh i like to call it it's almost like a ceramic what they did with the griddle was they put a coating on there because a lot of times with the cast iron griddles, you got to prep it a lot and it's, it's a lot harder to clean. With the coating, there's not really any of that. But underneath is the grill combo. So you got the grill griddle combo. And if you don't like where this is, you can actually take this off and set it at the table, whatever you want to do. 
metal prep station here, mini dorm style fridge, LP quick connect underneath, and we are set up for the ladder prep as well as backup camera prep. Now on the inside, when I was laying on the booth, I was talking about the storage underneath that bottom, or excuse me, the, when I was laying on the bunk, uh, the storage underneath those double bunks is right here. I like that, two reasons. Number one, it's more space and it's finished off. Number two, uh, it's outside access. I don't have to get up under the bunk or lift up the mattress from the bunk, lift up the thing, I got storage out here, so if I want to load in the chairs, the grill, whatever, I got good, deep, finished off storage. And how about for 24? That is a 3,000 pound rated tow hitch on the back of your mid pro fifth wheel. So if you got a trailer you want to pull behind it or a boat and you can trip tow in your state, obviously check to make sure you can, you got the opportunity to do that. Automotive rear lights with the backup light on there, I like it. And underneath here, and Ryan, I'm gonna step out the way so you can get in here because you gotta see that. So this is our main terminations. Now with our terminations, our tank sizes, I mentioned on the inside, you do have a 64 gallon fresh, you got an 88 gallon uh, black, 94 gallon gray, which are great tank spaces. But did you notice that clear cap? Yeah, that's so you can see if you got something waiting on you. We don't wanna talk about it, but nor do you wanna have it spill on your shoe. So thank you east to west for helping me avoid that. Laminated side and tops on your slides here too. And what's great about these is of course the bulb seal, which by the way, always lube the bulb seals at least every six months, but having the extra insulation means no cool or heat loss or heat in. Definitely don't want that. Oh, here's an even better shot of that reflective foil on the back of those shades, man. I gotta tell you, the square windows with the slide shades on the inside of the frame, that's pretty sweet. And look at the space that you get when this thing opens up. That is a big freaking window. Other termination right here. Back of our 60,000 BTU on-demand tankless water heater. And right here is our command center. Uh, I like this because you got everything in one spot, second external shower. You even got an access panel right here. So if you want to get to your water pump, do the bypass for your winterization, you can. Battery disconnect, black tank flush, uh, of course your termination controls. But it's crisp proof, meaning you don't want to mess up. They tell you how to turn the knobs to do whatever you're doing as far as your camping goes. And of course, the magnetic anti-slam latches. Now this coach is 33 feet, two inches. You're looking at roughly 8,800 pounds dry, but the info panel will tell you that the gross vehicle weight, 11,560 pounds. Obviously you never want to fully, fully load an RV, but man, 33 feet, two inches. At this price point with all these features and solar, which a lot of companies are taking off, not to mention it's a mid pro fifth wheel with six, four clearance in the, in the front cap here, man. Um, I got to tell you, the Tandera has stepped up the game. And for that couple that's looking for maybe the first bunkhouse for the family, or you have had a fifth wheel before, you want that upgraded camping experience, you want something that's going to fit the family and be able to sleep up to 10, then the 27 BHOK is going to be a great option for you. And the best part about it is you can pick it up today at your local camping world. So do me a favor, leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about it, what you not like about it, because we are right here at East to West. They listen to you, they love your feedback, and more importantly, they act on it. So let me know what you think down below. I love hearing from you, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Thank you for joining me for the walkthrough of this gorgeous 27 BHOK for Camping World. I'm Chris Young, and I will see you soon. I'm actually going to go take a nap, so don't follow me this time. Mm -hmm.